Okay guys, so in this video what I want to do, I want to show the cool trick how to represent a rotation in three-dimensional space. So I'm going to have three-dimensional space X, Y, and Z. And by rotation I mean that in this three-dimensional space I'm going to have some unit sphere. Not some unit sphere, I'm going to have the unit sphere. Yes. And in this unit sphere what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose some unit vector. And let's call this unit vector uh, U. And uh, I'm going to choose a unit vector. To this unit vector, I'm going to put some line, like L. And then around this line L, I'm going to rotate my space by some angle theta. So what do I mean by that? I mean that if, for example, I have some vector R, which is going to be orthogonal to my vector U, and this vector R is going to be also uh, the unit vector. Then when I'm going to rotate my three-dimensional space around this line L by angle theta, this vector R is going to be get rotated to some vector R prime, R prime, and the angle of rotation here is going to be exactly the same. So, and this, like all possible like kind of rotation, are going to be in uh, three-dimensional space. And the cool part, like this kind of rotation can be uh, performed by the action of the unit Bartonians on a three-dimensional space. But in this video, what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you just how to write a corresponding Quartonian of this form. And the formula is the following. So if I'm going to rotate uh, around vector u, vector u by angle theta, then remember like the Quartonian of, of the general form, uh, let's call it, I don't know, like q, uh, like q, I'm going to use the same q for uh, both vectors. So is going to be equal to a plus b times uh, some uh, like i, c times j, and plus d times k, where i, j, and k are going to have the following property that um, i times j times k are going to be equal to negative 1, and i squared is equal to j squared is equal to k squared is equal to negative 1. So we have these relations for the quartonian. Then uh, any rotation around line L by angle theta can be written as a quartonian where uh, my A is going to be equal to cosine of theta with 2 and uh, my, this called like imaginary part of the quartonian can be expressed in the following way. If I have a vector u and let's say vector u has coordinates u1, u2, and u3. And again, like the magnitude of u is equal to 1. Then I will think about u as an imaginary part of my quartonian because I have entries b, c, and d, so I have three components. So that's why I can write my u as a vector u1 i plus u2 j plus u3 k. Then the formula that is going to represent the quartonian for this rotation is going to be equal to u sine of theta over 2. And the first observation that you can do that if you will take uh, and check what is going to be the magnitude of my quartonian, and by definition is going to be quartonian times quartonian conjugate. Where quartonian conjugate is given just by uh, a minus bi minus cj minus dk. And you, if you're going to multiply and expand this parenthesis, you will check that you indeed are going to get uh, sorry, this magnitude, uh, magnitude squared. Then you're going to get uh, the expression that I want. And uh, when we're going to uh, yeah, do that, you're going to obtain um, magnitude of cosine theta over 2 squared plus magnitude of u times magnitude of sine of theta over 2 squared. And since the magnitude of u is a unit quartonian, it's going to be equal to 1, then I'm going to let cosine squared plus sine squared, which is also going to be equal to 1. So that's why the magnitude of this quartonian 
is going to be equal to 1. It's actually going to be equal to the magnitude square, but absolute value cannot be negative, so the only thing to be left is 1. So, yeah. And so finally, like th this is going to be a unit quartonian, and the rotation by theta around line L is going to be given as a quartonian with coordinates cosine of theta over 2 plus u1 sine of theta over 2i plus u2 uh, sine of theta over 2j plus u3 sine theta over 2k. And this is going to be the formula. Why this formula is true and how to derive it and further examples I'm going to do later. But this is the main idea. So I think that is like pretty cool how rotation in three-dimensional space uh, around some line by angle theta is related to quartonians. So thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and see you next time.